Hello my friends and welcome back everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's Cherise and if you hear an extra little bit of excitement in my voice today, it's because, do you see what that is? My Christmas bin and my Christmas tree. It's that time of the year that makes me happy. And so, I'm gonna get all my Christmas items out from the storage room and we are gonna start our countdown to Christmas. So if you guys are up for it, then join me. Let's get started. There's that beautiful tree, but I don't know how I'm gonna get all this stuff down from here. So should I try you guys to take it out or should I wait for my husband to come home to, to get at it for me? I know myself and I know I am going to attempt to bring it all down myself. So wish me luck. Let's do this. Okay, here's my Christmas stash. Now I am gonna head back downstairs and go bring up my Christmas tree. Okay, that was quite a task, but I got it all up to the house. And so, you guys, I'm so excited. I am gonna start decorating my tree, but first I am gonna be taking my beautiful Christmas tree out of the box. And the first thing I'm going to do is start fluffing it. Let me pull out my little tree skirt here. It's so pretty, I love it. I'm not doing traditional Christmas colors like the reds and the greens and all of that. I have more neutral and earth tones. Look at how pretty my Christmas tree skirt is. I love it. So I'm thinking, hmm, that's the dog drinking water in the background being loud. And so I'm thinking I am going to probably have to do a little rearranging in here i might have to move the dining table back a little bit because i want my christmas tree set up right here so i don't know yeah i'm gonna move it back some and maybe even turn it the other way turn it um sideways so it's it's this way and then I'll have the Christmas tree set up in this area. Not sure yet. What do you guys think? Because I want the focal point of the tree to be, of course, by the big window so my neighbors can also enjoy it. <laughs> anyway, let me get this set up or start setting it up. I don't know if I'll be finished today, but let me get it started. 
while the house is nice and quiet and I am by myself to concentrate. All right, I'll be back. Hello and welcome back everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Severino Family Vlogs and we are about to start the Christmas edition. Happy holidays to all. I hope you're all getting into the Christmas mood as I am. This is one of my most favorite times of the year so I hope that you will join me in getting it started. Thank you so much for joining our family and I. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and do so. We would appreciate you joining the family. So without any further ado, Let's get started. Happy holidays to everyone. Back again. So the first thing I'm going to do is start taking my little decor pieces off of my table here so I can move that back and start rearranging. I'm going to move my pompous grass right over here. Pull out the chairs. Okay, you guys, so let me go ahead and do this and I'll be right back. But before I get started, I just wanted you guys to see, here's a sneak preview of my little Christmas PJ bottoms. Do you like it? Let me know, give me a thumbs up. I'm all ready to go. I am in theme, guys, I'm so excited. So anyway, let me get back to what I was doing. giving my table a good cleaning before we start setting everything up. You guys can hear the roosters in the background. I do not live on a farm, but <laughs> we have wild roosters everywhere. So I guess this is my morning wake up call. All right, dining room table is all nice and clean. So I'm gonna be moving it over there and I'm going to be turning it horizontally. So let's get that done. Okay guys, so I've got the table situated right back here. That's the new position of the table. But I have an idea. I am gonna do a new addition to this dining set. I am gonna bring, instead of putting the rest of these traditional chairs, I am gonna do bench seating on this side. What do you guys think? I think it's a good idea so we'll give it a try and we see if it works if it works it stays if not then we just put the regular chairs back and I must also let you guys know that the place settings the dinnerware that I'm going to be using to style my table today is all going to be thrifted from Island Green it's going to be exciting guys I'm so glad you're here to join me get into the holiday season I hope you are as excited if not more excited than I am I know I said that already but oh, it brings my heart so much joy if just for the moment all right let me go get the bench and add it to the table and then we'll start decorating for our christmas theme love love that's all i'm gonna say there are no words look at that look at this bench this is a vibe in here i love it it's perfect Look at this. Oh my gosh. I have a little surprise piece of decor in here. And so this is what we're looking like so far. Wow. All right, let me get the rest of my decor pieces. Now I am back in my magic room and I am going to be pulling the pieces that I am going to be using for my tablescape so so far I have these two picked out 
I have a piece of burlap that I'm going to be using as a table runner, a basket, and I'm going to grab, let's see, let me set this down, and I'm going to go ahead and grab the glassware that I'm going to be using for the tablescape. I'm not sure if I want to do these or if I want to do something a little bit more simple. Where's that other stuff? These are the serving platters. Where did I put the other glassware pieces? Okay, let me sort myself and get myself together. I'll see you when I get back upstairs. Thing all complete. I've got my service wear, my plates, I've got my decor, I've got some paint because I'm going to be doing a little DIY on my napkin rings right here. I've got my glassware, I've got my theme decor, my wicker baskets, and my ornamental piece right over there. So I think I'm ready to get started. Are you guys ready to join me? Are you in the mood yet for Christmas? Do you like what you see so far? Let me know in the comments below. Okay guys, so here goes nothing. Here goes everything. What am I talking about? Ah, from the chandelier down to the tablescape. And once we turn around this way, the Christmas tree is going to be right there. I'm going to vacuum up the floor because I have some little bits of glitter and pieces of my pompous grass that are floating around on the floor. So I'm going to give the floor a good vacuum really quick. And then for real, for real, we're going to start the table decorating. OK, thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends and tell a friend to tell a friend. Little side note here, my beautiful royal palm tree is bearing new leaves. Look how pretty it is. We got this tree last Christmas, two days before Christmas, and already it's blooming new stems. Look at all the baby leaves. They're so nice and bright and pretty. I love this tree. This is going to be our Christmas tree. Well, not really. My Christmas tree decor and it is a real plant by the way we bought it at Home Depot and it was $40 and it's been thriving ever since they say it's an outdoor plant but we had it outside for about eight months and it was not doing too good in the direct sunlight which is what the person said that it's um it thrives for with direct sunlight but negative it did not work so we brought it back indoors and look how beautiful and green and lush it is all right so let me get back to work <laughs> my helper so just letting you guys know that everything that I'm using here for decoration this season this holiday this Christmas today it's all stuff that I had before nothing is new I shop my home I pull things from other rooms pull things from in storage pull things from what I thrifted for the other house but nothing is brand new bought just for this holiday season it's all stuff that I already had so you don't have to go all out and spend a whole bunch of money for holiday decor each season that you have to change it around you can just simply use whatever you have so I don't know if Ross is feeling it yet but before the day is done he'll get into it so I'm gonna get back to the decorating. It's pretty windy out here, so wish me luck. Not bad at all. 
look at that talk about a transformation this is what I'm talking about you got to do stuff on your own all right so I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up and we'll head back inside All right, so I'm back inside. My napkin rings are outside drying. I'm gonna leave them out there for about 30 minutes or so. They shouldn't take that long to dry. And I am back inside now. But the one thing I love about my Christmas tree is the assembly. It's in practically three pieces, one, two, and the stand. Very easy to put up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up right now. over there and start building our Christmas tree. Come along, let's go. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see if she lights up. And she does. Perfect. So do you see how full it's starting to look at the top part? You can barely see any spaces in between, so I'm going to continue to fluff the rest of the tree. That's my neighbor's car alarm going off, as it does every day. <laughs> so yeah, you can see where we have some gaps like right there and there, and I have to start working on the bottom. So look at the difference already in this section. So I'm going to go ahead and keep fluffing. Bye! You guys, the wind just knocked over my ring light and it broke. I guess this is going to be on my Christmas list now. Bummer. Okay, I've been doing this for about 45 minutes now. I think it looks pretty good. 
it's not a hundred percent but I will touch it up as I go along check out my ocean view outside very nice not to take away from the tree but yeah so it looks much better than it did when I first took it out of the box and I'm just gonna do a couple more little areas as best as I can and then we will start to decorate so much for joining me for today's video that's it for today i'm going to resume our christmas tablescape and decorations of the christmas tree tomorrow it's a wrap once again thank you guys so much for joining me it's always my pleasure having you so until we see each other again take care stay safe be well and always remember if there's anything in this world that you can be always be kind i'll see you tomorrow bye bye